Hello and welcome. Question. How many of you people have been, are, or would like to prevent constipation? I can't exactly remember the figures, but they're kind of staggering. It's certainly probably more than 50% of people, certainly in their lifetime, are likely to become constipated. And obviously one of the main reasons for that is because we're putting the wrong bad, that's British American diet, crap, caffeinated, refined alcohol or additives and processed products down our mouths. So as a reminder, anything with a shelf life does not have a self life. Now notice my position here. When I wake up in the morning, um, I don't need to do this, but if I wanted to help move the waste along the colon, then in this position here, if you think about it, for probably millennia, we would actually sit in this position and go to do a number two, a poo. And this was the normal kind of squat position. Some people may prefer to have a wider stance, it doesn't matter. But by breathing fully and deeply and getting yourself into this position, you will be able to mechanically move, and I'll show you the diagram in a moment, your waste material along your colon. Now just as a reminder, um, I'll show you this diagram. And on here, your colon transition time should be round about um, 12 to 24 hours. And one of the examples I usually give to my clients is I ask them to consume things like sweet corn or beet in the morning. And then what I'd like them to do is to observe when it comes out, the first time it comes out, obviously in their stools, and when it finally comes out. And that period of time, again, should be round about between 12 and 24. Any sooner than that, uh, 24 hours, then there's a problem, okay? Because that means that your body isn't able to fully extract that which is required from the hopefully foods that you're consuming. Now, when Mr. Crapper, or maybe it was Gilpin, again, depending on the research, who designed the toilet, he screwed up big time. And the reason he did was because he set it at a height where, well, let's go and have a look at a toilet. Here's a toilet. If you notice the gap from the floor upwards to the seat, actually in this position, if I can move this and then reorientate this so that you people can see me, hopefully there, that I'm obviously not in a great position that I'm able to move the waste along my colon. So, what is a good idea is to buy one of these. I know you'd normally get these for your child. Well, just to remind you, I am one. By putting that on there and then getting this position here, that is a better position, again, to assist the waste material along the colon. If you look at most um, under, I say underdeveloped, not developed countries, they don't have those types of toilets. And what happens is, they don't usually have any constipation problems and they're probably also eating the foods that have been on the menu for tens of thousands of years. So that's just a simple clip to explain to you that you could do something about some of the challenges that you have. Obviously the first thing I would recommend is look at what you're consuming. If it's true that we dig our graves one fork at a time, then ensure that you've got a healthy grave by eating healthy foods, whole alive foods, meat, vegetables, fruit, beans, pulses, um, seaweed, those kind of things that have been on the menu for certainly over 10,000 years. But when you wake up in the morning, as well as drinking two glasses of water and maybe taking some probiotics, what you could do is actually get into that squat position that I showed at the start of this recording, breathe fully and deeply, and just see shortly afterwards if you then want to go to the bathroom. Now, let me ask you another question. How many times do you go to the bathroom to do a number two daily? Your answer hopefully should be certainly uh, two, maybe even three times. For some of you that might be once a week. Houston we have a problem. A lot of toxic material still inside of you. Literally when some food went in, then food would come out. Or, sorry, when food came in, the waste would come out, not the food. So when you think about it, if you are having breakfast in the morning, then shortly after that, within half an hour, you go to the bathroom. So really you should be going to the bathroom at least two times a day. And it should have an earthy smell to it, there shouldn't be any complications, you shouldn't be spending hours on the toilet, and it should come out certainly um, 
I, I don't want to go into too many detail. I, I could run a three-hour lecture, like I said before. Sometimes I'm full of SHIT. But what I want you to do is to realise, get a book, um, How to Eat, Move and Be Healthy by Paul Check, uh, 2004. And he's got wonderful diagrams and explains the colon transition time and how food should be moving in the body. And it's a great book that literally, if you want to take control of your health right now, then buy the book and literally follow what he's got in there. Okay. Have yourself a wonderful day and I'll be in touch soon. Bye for now.